Hello again everyone. Welcome back to my channel and part two of my process video so you only have 10 minutes using the sheet load of cards that I showcased on the second of this month. Here's the card and let me show you what I've done so far. Last time, if you remember, I put the first pattern pieces on the card. I did cut it down a little bit because the way Alicia had the cutting guide, it was supposed to cover up the entire card base. So I made six for the video, but I have others because I'm going to be making these for members of my bell choir. As you know, we're not meeting right now, but we will soon, I hope. So anyway, today we are going to get started on building up the mat section. Right here, I'm going to be stamping the sentiment and attaching this pattern piece and then putting ribbon instead of instead of this piece right here, cardstock, I'm going to be using my mint macaron ribbon. All right, let's put 10 minutes on the clock. I will be using this stamp. I don't remember the set I got it from. The best gifts don't come under the tree. It fits perfectly onto this. And let me get the ink before I start the clock. We've got see I think I'll I'll stick with and I had an ombre of emerald oh my goodness, where is it? Okay, sorry about that. I did find my Emerald Envy. It's it's an ombre pad and it's one of the colors in the pattern paper. And then also cherry cobbler. I'll be doing three of each for my cards. Okay. So let's put 10 minutes on the clock. And here we go. I'll start off with the Emerald Envy. And I'll pat all over to get that ombre effect. I will put it right in the middle. Give it some good good time to transfer the ink. Oh, well, that didn't work out well, did it? There are two sides to every piece of paper. <laughs> blow on it, give it a little more moisture maybe. Okay, that one's better. One. three and then we're going to switch I'm going to use my homemade stamp cleaner we're going to switch cherry cobbler I keep a roll of paper towels handy for this reason 
See how well the ink came off? Okay. All right. Cherry cobbler. Oops. Another color in this set of paper is Early Espresso, but I didn't think that would look good as as a sentiment, so we're skipping the Early Espresso. That's mainly for the um, the pine cones. And we're not using that today. I need to remind myself when I'm doing multiple stampings uh, of sentiments like this, I should use my positioner. That way I can make sure I get a good crisp image. Okay. So there's those. And they will go up near the top. I, I went ahead and, and replaced the tape in here. Just gonna leave a little border around. This is a boo-boo. But nobody's going to know. Except us. I just want you to know that these have come true for me. These 10 minute segments are even more important to me now. I'm working full time and yeah, it's, <laughs> I'm living these 10 minute segments. So I want you to know that you can get a lot done in 10 minutes too. All right, let's put on the bottom pattern pieces we still have three minutes. Awesome. So we have three bells and then the three solid pieces and then I will put the ribbon on. Okay. Okay, so we have a nice little area in here to put the ribbon.
As a matter of fact, I worked uh, 12 hours yesterday, so kind of more than full time. So it just depends on what we need. The healthcare uh, field is going through a really tough time right now because of the obvious. So I just kind of have to bloom where I'm planted. Okay, so we have a minute. Let's get started on the ribbon. Just about that much. I'm going to wrap it around. Um, that's, I have to unstick that one. I get lazy and I don't clean my scissors very often. And then they get yucky. So go ahead and cut the ribbon all at once. That's another assembly line trick. It's kind of, you don't have to be spot on accurate because you're just going to fold it behind it anyway. That's the beauty of matting. I'm going to use that. Oh, okay. There's our 10 minutes. And I did get five ribbons cut, but I did get all six pieces ready to go. All right, next time we will put the ribbon on and attach it to the card bases. And maybe even have time to embellish. So thank you so much for joining me. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.